Hey, this is Veronica Wasek with the 5MinuteBookkeeping.com blog where we show you how to minimize bookkeeping and maximize profits. Should you mix business and personal in your QuickBooks? A lot of new business owners make the mistake of setting up their personal and business bank, bank accounts into their QuickBooks online. And while I appreciate the fact that you'd probably want to track your finances into QuickBooks, you don't want to track your personal finances in QuickBooks online. And I'll tell you why. Number one, um, if you were ever audited by the IRS, they're expecting that your company's books would just have the business activity in your QuickBooks, not your personal. And unfortunately, if you, if you were audited and you did have your personal income and expenses in your QuickBooks, then you're opening yourself up for the IRS looking at that information as well. So you really don't want to do that. Number two, if you're mixing business and personal in your books, you've added a whole new layer of complexity into your bookkeeping. While you yourself may be able to tell the difference between your business expenses and your personal expenses, if you ever hired an employee or hired a professional bookkeeper or accountant, it would be very difficult for them to know what's what. And um, frankly, as an accounting professional, I don't really want to take the liability of having to figure out which expenses are business and which expenses are personal. So the best thing to do, as, and again, as a best practice, is to separate uh, your personal income and expenses from your business income and expenses. Number three, even though some of my clients did not add their personal bank accounts into QBO, they paid for business expenses out of their personal accounts, and those expenses never made it into QBO. So the problem there is that you have missed tax deductions, and nobody wants that. You don't want to pay the IRS more than you should. So what you want to do is to keep track of all of your business income and all of your business expenses from business accounts. Same with credit cards. Even if you're not able to open a company credit card, just make sure that you have an entirely separate credit card just for business. And finally, one of the main reasons to why you'd want to separate business and personal is when you look at reports in QuickBooks. So if you're looking at your profit and loss, you want to see how your business is doing, not how you and your business are doing. So it's very important, again, make that separation do it as soon as you start a business or if you've been doing this for a while make sure that you stop make that change right now separate business and personal keep track of personal somewhere else i'm veronica masek if you'd like to get more of this content make sure to subscribe to my channel and visit my blog at 5minutebookkeeping.com